Ah, uh, Rockstar. They really are rock stars. Can they ever do Ron? I mean, they keep making the same game for years. Look at that. They pretty much keep making the same game for, like, years. Looking at you, Grand Theft Auto V. Well, anyway, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time zone you're in. Welcome back to Grand Theft Auto V. Let's get this started. Sadly, there's only going to be just one video of this as much as I want to get back to this. Let's make sure the fidelity, because I like... Say what you will, even though Grand Theft Auto... Wait, I changed. Radio volume. Yeah, that's fine. Even though Rockstar is kind of in. Uh, how do I describe it? They're not doing so well in terms of just their uh, GTA Definite Edition. Basically, remaking. Try to put my. Try to to gosh I'm actually at a loss of words I'm at a loss I mean Rockstar is still doing it right I think they do extremely exceptional games I think they are pretty much top of the food chain in terms of making the shows their games I've been playing their games since crap Max main I think they have gone downhill because after Grand Theft Auto V made them the most freaking money that you could ever believe. After Red Dead Redemption 2, which was their other one, they kind of went back because they made the Grand Theft Auto of the Trilogy the Definite Edition, and we know how that went. It went so bad that they're literally just offering it on PlayStation Plus Extra and Premium. That's how bad that they're doing. Not saying that all the games on PlayStation Extra and Premium are bad. No, heck no, no. But I think when you compare it to their... Yeah, let's just... Well, let's get to the mayhem. Let's just do it. Curious on what they'll do with Grand Theft Auto 6 whenever we get that. Which will be... Gosh, that'll be a while. But I do appreciate that they're going back to Max Big... Max Payne 1 and 2 and just remaking it because, dude, I want to play those. I wonder if that song would be copyrighted. And contract 2, 3, 4, release 2, 3, 4. Okay, now. Okay, did I save? I think I already saved. Yeah, for once, I'm actually going to be silent on this one. There's not a whole lot I can say. I think Grand Theft Auto can show, and it's perfect as it is. I think I already replayed the missions. Yep. I uh, already did the long stretch. So now, we're just kind of caught up of where we need to be, so... Yeah, sadly, one video. Enjoy Grand Theft Auto V. I think there's enough to be said there. Honestly, I think Grand Theft Auto V will just keep going until... Gosh, he'll keep going forever, in a sense. But I can see why.
Okay, now that I have a little bit more breathing room. I don't think Rockstar is doing... Wait a minute. I think someone needs help. Nope, that's just a vehicle. Yeah, I think Rockstar is just releasing the same game just every year. That means Grand Theft Auto V. I think... Now that Grand Theft Auto V was released on the PS5 version last year, I think, I think we could finally move on to Grand Theft Auto 6 because that's what we want. We don't want the same game every freaking year. And as much as it's nice that we're getting their older games remade, I think it's time for them to do a new game. I think they're in hot water right now. Anyway, going back silent. Misunderstanding. She fucked up brick in my bed. <sighs> you bullshitting me. It wasn't like that. You in? Fuck it, I'm in. Let's roll. Let's get this motherfucker. Just don't kill him! <laughs> you okay, homie? What happened? Guy bounced my wife is what happened. Which guy? The guy I'm paying to teach her tennis. The 
tennis coat? Oh, that's fucked up, man. You risk dudes, homie. You know, back in the hood, man, we gotta watch out for the mailman, dog. Yeah, I'm a cuckold, a snob, and a fucking cliche. Oh, shit! He went left up there, dog. Man, look the fuck out! Ah, the fast loading times. We saw it from Franklin's perspective. I kind of want to play Michael's perspective, too. Because it's cool to see from two different perspectives. That's what Grand Theft Auto V did well. We got to play as three different characters, and it actually worked. I do enjoy that. I do enjoy that we get to split with three different characters. It kind of makes it really cool. Just saying. Man! Tracy! Yo! Amanda! Amanda! You better not be! Not in my house! Fuck you, Michael. Go away! I'm paying that turd 150 bucks an hour to fuck my wife in my own bed? Michael, go away! Oh, no, I'm sorry, bro. She said you had an arrangement. You and I are gonna have an arrangement. I'm gonna arrange your fucking funeral. I'm really sorry, bro. I'll comp the session. I promise. You are dead, man. Fuck. Dead! Come here! Ah! Fuck. Hey, you! Stop it! What's up, man? Get out of my way. Michael, calm down. What the fuck is going on? Nothing happened. It was a misunderstanding. She fucked the frick in my bed. <laughs> Bullshitting. It wasn't like that. You in? Fuck it. I'm in. Let's roll. Let's get this motherfucker. Just don't kill him! <laughs> this truck yours? The guy's doing some work for me. He'll get it back. Might have a dead body hook to it, but he'll get it back. Oh, so we killing this dude? You wish he was dead. Is that a problem? Shit, a dog shit shit in another dog's kennel. Exactly. People been shitting in my kennel too long. Left, look, man. He ain't slipping this noose. Man, I think we lost his name. He lives somewhere up in the canyon. We'll find him. If I gotta go to a motel, she's gotta go to a motel. Let her get crabs for a change. You got crabs? What? No, no. Cause I like um, ship your hand and shit, man. No, not anymore. Look, we got rules. Not in the house. Not guys I gotta look in the eye. Or pay for the privilege. Oh, this dude joined boy? Now that's a lie. You don't fault, man. Or any kind of man it is. Oh, fuck it. Yeah, let's go have some strong ass words with this little fiat. It's this track here. Hey, you know, one of these fucking houses. You left this car, check it out. Little bricks up there, look. Oh, shit, Coach's doing all right for himself. Hey, asshole! You ran off before we could settle our debts. 
Michael Fudge! You got the wrong idea, man! He's about to have a real clear idea where I'm coming from. There's a winch in the back of the truck. Tied a cable to one of those supports up there. You finna pull his deck down? Hey, that prick pulled my marriage down. Man, you really gonna be this fucking dramatic? Yeah, whatever. I told you I comped the session, bud! Well, there were a lot of freaking sessions, bud! I'm thinking you were working on more than just her backhand. Mandy's backhand has come a long way, bro. But sometimes it's gotta get worse to get better. Yeah, well, maybe I should come up there and practice my backhand. On your face! Oh, bud, your negative energy is seriously bringing me down. Oh, I hope it is, bud. We hooked up, man. You come into my house, take my money, and nail my wife? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna stick up my hand and say that was uncool, bud. My bad. Seriously. Oh, how fucking magnanimous. May I please offer you my applause? You fucking motherfucker! Dude! And we'll see how you like it when someone fucks with your shit! Oh, hey! Wait! You got the wrong idea, pal! Whoa! Fuck! Here we go! Ha-ha! <laughs> Let's see what happens! Told you a property crazy! <laughs> oh, shit! You see this shit, dog? Come on, man, do it to him! Man, homie ain't rubbing outside tonight, dog! Do it, man! Fucking do it! Oh, fuck! Ah! Fucking A! Let's see how he liked that! Whoa, man! Fuck! Fuck him! And yeah, fuck his deck! Hey, homie! I think you put a little more than a deck, man. Yeah, it's a foolish man who builds his house on sand, baby. Hey, man, I don't think my boy Matthew was taking truck when he wrote that shit. Mr. DeSanta, what the hell? That's not my house! Bullshit. Oh, bro, I couldn't afford a place like that. I'm a tennis coach. I hit balls for a living. I was just hiding there. Give me a phone! You! You're a dead one! Green! Green light! Martin Madrazo, give you green light! Oh, I'm scared, lady. Just fucking terrified. Ah. Green light! Green light! Martin Madrazo, fuck you! Hey, man, that's some mean-looking motherfucking essays right behind you. Oh, that was quick. All right, help me deal with this. I'll try, man. Try. You got a piece? Yeah. You think you can handle these... Guys. Oh, hey, fuck oh, off! Back off, assholes! You gotta use that gun? You got this, Michael? I got one! Hey, how you doing over there? There you go! Hey, cocksucker! Ah. I'm reloading! If these are more... Like Madrasso's boys! Man, it's a lot more where they came from! Ice that motherfucker! This a misunderstanding, motherfucker! Hey! We fight back, you cocks! Fuck, man, these assholes are me! Uh, 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 that guy got it! Jesus. I think you slipped him, man. All right, let's go back home. Wow, shit. You did good. I mean, your aim's all over the place, but you were a help. Ah, uh, thanks. I guess. Hey, don't get the fence. Go to a shooting range, work on your aim. You'll do fine. Oh, fuck, man. Shit, you good? Fine as wine. I got a few knocks. You okay? I mean, you did good, kid. Man, I'm cool, man. I mean, you. Mental. 
Mentally? Oh man, I'm fucking excellent. My heart ain't pumped like that in years. Oh, yes, fucking A, Bubba. Man, you sound kind of manny. You just been greenlit by the Mexican underworld ambassador to Los Santos. Trust me, we handled it. Wherever the fuck Martin Madrazo is, I've known worse. We just handled a few low-ranking clans. We sit on it, we see what happens. Kid, there's no use second-guessing. Felt good, man. Woo! Yeah, doing something for a change. Ha! <laughs> man, you know what? You are wasted sitting by that fucking pool, man. You're right. I need to do something. Scotch and sunshine is sitting on my ass. Fuck that, I'm better than that. Damn skippy, homie. All that knowledge up there is withering and dying, dawg. You don't pass that shit on, it's gone, homie. I bet you know some shit. You wouldn't believe the shit I know. Yeah? You taking some scores? There was a time, that was all I did. Shit, well, you know, I could tell you some shit, too. Yeah, like what? About this city I was born and raised in. Now think about it. Yeah, do that, man. This could be cool. Hey, thanks for the help out there today, kid. I had no idea it was gonna get that hot. Shit, pulling houses off the hillside sure has a weird way of fucking with people. Yeah, well, I thought I was through with all that shit. I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh shit, I think we're about to find out. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Do you? No. Do you? You? I think so. Good. I know who you are. I know where you live. Who are you? I'm Franklin. License. Now, Franklin. Maybe help Mr. DeSanta here. Who am I? I think Martin Madrazo. Good boy. Now maybe give him a little of a background. Man, Mr. Madrazo. It... Mr. Madrazo is a legitimate businessman who was wrongfully accused of running a Mexican-American gang and a narcotic ring, but the charges were dropped because of the witnesses came up missing. Smart kid. Now, Michael, I've got a question for you. What did you prove an architectural, significant, modernist, wonder home down the hillside in Vinewood Hills? I thought the owner was banging my wife. Well, that was a strange house for a tennis coach. <sighs> I wasn't thinking straight. Mm, clearly. Yeah. <sighs> well, Natalia will need a hotel while you finance the rebuild, won't she? Sure. Good. And I'm guessing here that the rebuild uh, will be somewhere in the 2.5 million range. <laughs> Of course. Great. That's nice. Come on, man. Damn, you all right? Never better. So what now? Looks like I'm gonna have to postpone my retirement. Fuck. Ah, oh, man, I'm mortgaged up to my eyeballs. Look, I only know one way to make money. I'm gonna have to give an old friend a call. Lester. I think he's in town somewhere. I'm gonna have to track him down. Just give me a little alone time, all right? All right, dog. Hello. Is this still the number for Lester Crest? Who's asking? Who's asking? Who's asking? You're awful cagey. <laughs> <clears throat> Even for a dead man, Michael. Ooh, you don't sound good, buddy. 
<laughs> Tactful and charming, even in death. Hey, come see me, old friend. I'm living in Los Santos, just like you. Marietta Heights. Whoa, whoa, wait. Hey, how do you... Hello? You fucker. Madrasso? What the fuck I get myself into? Doc, hey. Michael, well, I'm looking through my appointment book and I don't see your name. Yeah, well, I'm more of a walk-in guy, Doc. You know that. Walk-ins are more expensive, but I'm always happy to accommodate. Sure, you'll accommodate me as long as I got money in my pocket, right? Hey, I'm in a bad way, Doc. I might come by soon.
Come in, Michael. Uh, yeah, thanks, Doc. How have you been? Oh, good. Things been good. No, actually, things ain't been good. Things been a far fucking way from good. I've been uh, acting out. That's what you would call it, I think, right? Acting out. So what exactly has been the problem? I'm not good, Doc. Not good at all. I'm sorry to hear that. Tell me. I don't know. I guess we've been having these conversations long enough that I... I can recognize a trigger when I see one. You know? Shit that's gonna put me right over the fucking edge. Like my family. My son. <laughs> my daughter. My wife, especially my wife. I mean, they just set me right off, Doc. You know, there's been this... episode. You know, actually, it was a culmination of a series of episodes. I... I pulled this Mexican's house right off the fucking hill. I mean, I, I think I'm back in it, Doc. I'm back into life. I mean, I gotta make some money, and there's only a couple ways I know how to do it. You feel the need to explain your decisions, Michael. Take responsibility. So, any other violent urges, friend? Sometimes I'm fine, Doc, and sometimes I'm a fucking maniac. It's like I'm two different people, and I don't like either one of them. I think split personality is the least of your problems. You're deranged. Hmm. I really just want to be happy, Doc. Is that so bad? Okay. And what about your sexual behaviors? I've been a really good boy, Doc. Really good. Not one problem. I'm glad to hear that. Really glad. Keep working it. This is great. I just ain't myself right now, Doc. Not since my life went crazy. You're plainly addicted to chaos. Well, I'm not sure that's true, Doc. <laughs> I'm not exactly enjoying myself here. You know, what I'm addicted to is not getting killed. But for some reason, I keep getting my ass into situations where getting killed is a little hard to avoid. What about the people you kill? Well, yeah, but that's not for fun. Are you sure? Who exactly you asking, Doc? Am I a psychopath who enjoys suffering? Or a sociopath who doesn't give a flying fuck about the rules? Come on, we've already had this conversation, right? I'm neither. I'm just a fat, washed-up jock who can't get his head around the fact that his high school football career didn't play out the way that he planned. The only way I'm content and, and competent is with a gun in my hand or a price on my head. You're very defensive, Michael. Do you consider yourself a failure? I pay you to listen to my problems. I mean, I'm rich. I'm miserable. I mean, half the time, my kids can't stand me. The other half, my wife is cheating on me. I kill people without remorse, Doc. Hell, I'm pretty average for this town, really. I mean, wait a minute, that's the shot. <laughs> I, I, I think I'm having a breakthrough here, Doc. This, this, I think, no, no, I know that I'm just terrified that I'm, I'm sure gonna... you are, but that's really all we have time for. <sighs> See you next time. Okay. I cannot come to the phone right now. Call back.
Watch your linear entertainment. Go watch porn. Just go away. Shit. Fuck you! What the fuck? Disrespectful little asshole. I can't believe you did that. That's my TV. You don't talk to me like that. I can't believe you. Mom was right about you. You don't know any better and you can't help it, but you're an asshole. Yeah, well, why don't you do something then? Besides just stand there. Why don't you hit me? Is that what you want? To be hit by your son? Yeah. No. I just... Want you to do something besides sit there eating? Yeah, great. Thanks for the fucking guidance, Dad. It means a lot. Wait. I'm just trying to help you. Yeah. Well, nothing says I love you like smashing my fucking TV. Nothing at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wish we could do things together. Hey, what things? I don't know. Uh, go for walks. Play ball. You know I have bad glands. Yeah. Uh, bike ride, then. Bike ride? Y you want to go on a fucking bike ride? Fine, fine, let's go on a fucking bike ride. Uh, fuck me. A bike ride along the Spucci Beach? Okay, Dad. I got just the thing to show you. This day was going so well until you showed up. You know that? Ugh! Yeah, well, you're lucky to even be allowed out of the house after that boat stunt. What's the big deal? If anything goes wrong, you can just fake your death and start all over. If I'm hanging with you, I'm listening to my music. Oh, hell yeah. Jimmy. How am I meant to develop my own moral sensibilities when yours are so unbelievably fuck-faced? Don't push me. Seriously, some guys borrow your bow. Borrow? You were hiding in the head crying kidnap. They just took receipt of your property with payment pending. If it was anything other than what you told me, then that's on you. All right, they fucking stole it. And who knows what they would have done if they found me. But I didn't expect or want them to get killed. You think I'm gonna let some guys ride off with my son? Look, I knew you were a bad guy, but... Oh, a bad guy. Sweetie. A crook, a killer, a thief, a liar. I guess I've been all those things one time or another, right? It's just... What? I always thought I was the good guy. God help the morally bankrupt planet your generation have left us if you're the good guy. Yeah. Anyway, I always knew you were the kind of person who didn't let other people get in the way, but I hadn't, like seen that happen before yeah well that's me Jim and I've been trying my best to get things under control for the last 10 years but that was an extreme fucking situation and I had to act a normal person wouldn't have done that yeah well I had to to protect you yeah keep telling yourself that when you see their faces every time you close your eyes you know that Here we are, at the bike rental place. Please don't shoot the bike rental guy out of, like, force of habit. Hi! Greetings! Hey, you! Two bikes. Take your pick. Hi! It'll be on your 
desk first thing. Yo, I'll thanks. Buy. If I make it to the end of the pier first, you're gonna buy me a big ass new flat screen. End of the pier, fine. But if you lose, you're gonna do something with your life. <sighs> Give it up, Dad. You've gone to see. In this kind of condition, a triathlon would kill you. Ah. Looks like you're buying your own TV. You know, this is real nice, Dad. Bonding, good times. Yeah, yeah, I'm giving it my best shot. Come on, we're having fun, right? You wouldn't know fun if it sat on your face. Ah, come on. I mean, why do I have to hold your hand through this whole midlife crisis bullshit? And why don't you stick your nose up Tracy's butt sometime? Because Tracy doesn't buy cars she can't afford so that thugs break in our house. Tracy doesn't get kidnapped or destroy my yacht. Well, that's just because she's too busy getting fucked by dudes to get on TV. You don't talk about your sister that way. Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. I mean, according to her Life Invader page, she's hanging out with producers and porno guys this afternoon. What are you talking about? Actually, it's all happening right out there. What? That boat that makes yours look like a refugee raft? You know the kind of boat, the one that makes a young, impressionable girl drop her pants and spread her legs. This is the reason you brought me here, isn't it? You fuck. Ah! Dad, wait! Shit, shit, shit.
Take me out of here. Dad, you're embarrassing me. These are my friends. Yeah, you're embarrassing her, dude. They're shooting porno here. They shoot porno all over town. Mom rented our house to them last summer. That was what? Your house? Yeah. Man, you gotta kill her bad, Mr. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? Let's go. <laughs> Those walls can talk. You think I do it? Hey! No! Hey! Hey, cool, man. Hey, dude. Hey, what are you doing? Hey! Ah, hey. Gosh, man! Come. I like that! What's the problem? You're such a jerk! Come on! Dad, you dumbass! These guys are serious! Yeah, well, so am I! Talk to the scene of my fucking boat! Oh, motherfuckers! Get on! Now! I'm about to skin you alive! God damn it! Go! TV and he took me to the beach. The beach with my skin. So what, you sent him out to spoil my day too? I didn't know that he was gonna come get you. I just told him where you were. You know, he got that crazy look in his eyes, you know, like he gets sometimes and he just went. I'm getting a cab. I'm coming with you. How about I just drive us home? You ruined my life. Ah, to be a dad.
Love that name badge, Mr. Ossifer. Hey, won't you stop acting like a fucking fool? Gentlemen, calling later. So make yourself scared. Call me at the place tonight. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, you 